Welcome to the Geospatial Intelligence Podcast. My name is Aybar Sostuna and I'm the founder and CEO of Geospatial Intelligence Institute and Master of Science in Geospatial Intelligence candidate at Johns Hopkins University. Geospatial Intelligence an Emerging Field We'll be talking everything about it. Let's begin. GIS in Nutrient Management Global positioning system and electronic control systems are used in precision manure application, which helps monitor the manure application rate. It also assists in applying manure over previously missed areas or over applying manure. Besides, it also helps the farmers easily access the recorded information regarding the application process. The maps generated through computerization are installed in the CAP controller, which helps prescribe the manure that is best suited for the application. It brings efficiency to manure application, which results in the yielding of a healthy crop, ultimately contributing to the fulfillment of our nutrient requirement. Manure's precision application is done through GIS application, reducing error in manual application areas. GIS applications also help mitigate the chances of manual being applied in an area considered environmental sensitive. Manual application consists of a set of management practices that are identical to those used with commercially available fertilizer. Manure tends to possess an irreplaceable value in crop health and so does it amount of application to different crops as per their requirements. GIS applications ensure that manure is applied to the crops as per their application necessities, which helps the crop avoid damage or root root caused by over-fertilization. Through this technique, a farmer can ensure that the crop has all the necessary nutrients and is free of any hazardous chemical compounds found in pesticides or other chemically synthesized fertilizers. Hence, this is how GIS contributes indirectly to nutrient management. Moreover, it also helps protect the crop from the over-application of pesticides because when a pesticide is applied in a larger amount, it can also destroy the necessary pollination agents essential for crop production. By doing so, the cost involved in manual pollination can be avoided. The inclusion of GPS and GIS in manual application is done using a vehicular GPS guidance system, which keeps the applicator from overlapping the areas where manual has already been applied. It also helps ensure that no area is missed for manual application. The process also incorporates advanced technology for driving and incorporating variable rate applications. Variable rate manual application is a process that combines GIS and GPS systems. GIS applications and programs are managed, providing data based on the locations used in the personal computer on which the application is used. Doing so helps the applicator generate field zone maps and precision application maps. If you would like to have a variety of sources, feel free to follow geospecialintelligenceinstitute.org That is Geospatial Intelligence Institute. My name is Aybars Östuna and this is the 
Geospatial Intelligence Podcast.